On September 28, 1982, after leaving England, the strange flying object is arriving near the French coast. Yes, this identified object is the Skyship 500, first prototype of a generation of modern airships designed for civil and military applications. The airship is like an inverted submarine which obeys Archimedes' principle in air instead of water. With a low effective cost, the airship is an attractive multi-role maritime vehicle for missions requiring long airborne endurance, such as anti-submarine warfare, airborne early warning, surveillance of the 200 nautical mile economic zone, The airship has a deterrent effect combined with an extreme discretion due to its very low thermal and radar signature. Its integration in the existing surveillance system can sensibly improve the cost-effectiveness ratio of the whole system. Its rate of capability in different weather conditions is higher than that of conventional airships. Its exceptional maneuverability makes it still more effective in interception and integration missions. It is a British design and European manufacture. The envelope is made of polyester laminate and manufactured by the French company Zodiac Aerosur EFA. The gondola is in Kevlar and honeycomb sandwich material and is manufactured at York by Slingsby Engineering Company. It's powered by two Porsche engines made in Germany. Its gross volume is 5,131 cubic meters. Its speed varies between zero and 60 knots. Overall length 50 meters, width 14 meters, height 18.70 meters. Its endurance is 14 hours. Its disposable lift, 2 tons. Airport Authority gave permission for an airship to land at Wasi Charles de Gaulle and carry out a shuttle service between two airports, Wasi and Oakley. It's the new symbol of a European banner in a cloudless sky. The first operational generation, the Skyship 600 series, is partly financed by the European community. Inflated with helium, an inert and uninflammable gas, which could make it the world's biggest fire extinguisher, as helium could be used to put out fires. It's non-polluting and consequently non-aggressive for the environment. It can be perfectly integrated in the air traffic and the airport structure. Vertical takeoff and landing are achieved by vector thrust ducted fans and variable pitch propellers. The comfort, stability, and panoramic view of the Skyship make it an ideal platform for tourism, also allowing for its use as an advertising medium by day and night. The airship is also equipped with an illuminated night sign system, connected and controlled by a mini-computer. It can become a new media by opening an original dimension in the communication field and can also be used as a relay station. During the week of flight evaluation between Wasi and Orly airports, the average flight time was 25 minutes. The expanded versions SKS 600, SKS 2000 and SKS 5000 have disposable lifts of 3, 10, and 28 tons, and speeds of 110, 150, and 180 kilometers per hour, respectively. Its flight endurance, which varies between 14 hours and 7 days, depending on the version and its characteristics, 
made of the Skyship one of the top events of the 35th air show at Le Bourget, coinciding with the 200-year anniversary of the first human flight by Le Marquis d'Arlande and Pilatre de Rosier aboard a Montgolfier hot air balloon in 1783. In a way, the SKS-500 represents the missing link between the balloon and the space shuttle, and its pilots are invited to see for themselves. Celebrities were not only aboard the Skyship, other VIPs in the worlds of aeronautics and politics were welcomed at the same time to the airship industry chalet and were informed about this new retro innovative technology.
Today, astronauts Colonel Carol J. Bobko, command pilot of Challenger, and Colonel D. Peterson, who walked in space, and Dr. W. V. Lenoir, who was also on the Columbia flight, had all their time to look at Paris. In their Challenger, they're the fastest pilots in the world. Here, they exchange impressions with pilots whose airships are bringing a different kind of challenge for tomorrow.